Hi again. I made it another day. I uh, did really good all day long. It always amazes me how much better I feel when I eat vegan all day. I did still at the end. I still go for comfort food. So I'm going to try to do as much cooking as I can tomorrow so that I have things ready and um, just ready to go when I'm ready to eat. I've had a few people ask me why I'm doing this journey. I did it before. I never videoed it, but I went on this journey before to get my health back. Uh, and it took me about two years to do all the research and, and I have hypothyroidism, so I had to go at it that way. Um, I worked with a doctor while I was doing it. I was still on my meds, all that. Uh, but it led me to doing vegan. And um, not, not that I was doing it for any moral reason or anything like that. I mean, I do have my reasons like that, but that's not why I came into it. Um, I just kept researching. First thing I did was literally to get rid of all processed foods. If I couldn't make it myself, then I didn't have it, which meant I didn't have breads because I wasn't gonna be able to go out and get the wheat and do all the, you know, take it to the mill and all that kind of stuff. Um, which actually when you're hypothyroidism, it's um, actually good to be gluten free, so that helped. I do use tofu now. Um, I'm still looking into that to see how much, um, how, to make sure it's uh, processed correctly and all of that. But for right now, that is how I'm getting my protein because I have to have more protein as I'm older. So, um, but my biggest why to do this now is I just wanna be able to do the things that I was doing before, um, before Joseph got sick. We were, um, I'm not trying to be 20 or anything like that. I mean, just six years ago, we were hiking the Appalachian. So, I mean, we could spend a week in DC and and never slow down uh, kayaking, swimming, just everything that you can think of we were doing. So it's not like I'm reaching back 20 years trying to do what I was doing before. I'm just reaching back to where we were before cancer hit. Um, so um, I know that there will be some changes. This time it's a little bit different because it was just me. I was able to just start it all, you know, but I now I have to deal with the stresses of full-time caregiving. Uh, like today, I got up got to do my things and then once Joseph woke up I had to help him uh, clean up some stuff that had happened um, so that took most of the day I mean to think about it I mean I was able to do some of my things but through the day I was having to deal with that so and then he wants to eat different things and I'm because of the type of cancer he has and that it's not going to be cured I'm not going to say no uh, we've already talked about it and everything so that's where I am, but I also want to be able to get out my hiking gear out again. Um, take the grandkids to go hiking. I know we don't have a lot of hills here, but we can go into Georgia and start the bottom part of the Appalachian. You know, things like that. Uh, of course, they're gonna, they're so funny with just getting outside, so this ought to be interesting, but just be able to get that gear back out again is why I'm really doing it, and I can't, and I have to work on my uh, strength training again. Um, so it's not about the number of what I weigh. It's nothing like that. It's just about regaining my health again. So I hope that answers any questions. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of cooking tomorrow. So hopefully my next week will be much better because uh, I do feel so much better when I eat the right ways. I'll talk to you tomorrow, bye.